NBC2 News at 6. It was pretty not with it, you know, well taken by the smoke. Firefighters revive a dog after pulling his limp, lifeless body from a burning home, but 10 cats were not so lucky. They all died in the fire that broke out in this home on Floyd Street in Port Charlotte. NBC2 Steve Campion witnesses firefighters making that dramatic rescue, and you can see he's got a friend with him tonight. Steve is working the story from our Charlotte County Mobile Newsroom. Steve. <laughs> As you can see, Bo's a little bit excited, Kelly and Lynn, but I want you to meet him because he's doing remarkably well. Given about four hours ago, he was trapped inside a burning home. Tonight, his owners are giving thanks that Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte County firefighters were able to pull him out alive. Grasping for air, Bo the Beagle finds himself after firefighters pull him to safety from a fire inside this Port Charlotte home. He was pretty not with it, you know, well taken by the smoke. But then when they gave him the breathalyzer, you know, the breathalyzer, but the oxygen, he came right back. That had to be remarkable to see him pop back up. That was crazy. I had tears in my eyes. That was, that was great. While no one was home, firefighters tell us at least 10 cats were killed by the flames from a fire that was called in shortly before 2 this afternoon. It was pretty thick. It was actually coming out of the chimney in the front window there. But keeping firefighters from getting inside the house was a mountain of things. Part of the challenge is this house is very full. Um, it's cluttered. In the end, though, Bo sprung back into the action, which for all the neighbors was a huge sigh of relief. They brought him back to life. It was just crazy. It was really nice. Now, Red Cross has been out here helping the owners of this house because smoke damage has made this house uninhabitable. As for Bo, the family tells us they're thinking about renaming him Lucky, given everything he's been through. We're live in Port Charlotte. Steve Campion, NBC2. All right, Steve, thank you. Roads riddled with potholes and cracks. NBC2 has learned plans to repave 10 major thoroughfares in Cape Coral.